What is up, guys? It is Super Shaw here, and today is going to be my NFL 2019-2020 prediction for the Week 3 preseason games. So, yeah, I'm really excited for this week. I would like to know if you guys are. There will be a lot of interesting games this week. And it's going to be amazing. For some reason, a lot of people consider the first game, the Hall of Fame game for the Denver Broncos against the Atlanta Falcons, the preseason week one, and they would consider the next games for the first week, week two, for some reason. I do not know what's up with that, but it's just weird and strange at the same time so this is supposed to be week three instead of week four so I know there are some games going on right now the games that start at six o'clock today so I'm not going to pay attention to the scores as I am going through these games and I'm going to give out my predictions on the games and who I think will win And just short details, like always. So, let's go ahead and get started with the first NFL preseason week three game. Our first game, we have the New York Giants versus the Cincinnati Bengals. The Giants are doing really good in the preseason. And there's no doubt about that. The Bengals are just not that good. They've lost the first two games of their preseason so far, which is not good. They're just looking really lost at this point. So with this game being here, there's not much to describe it. I think the Giants will get an easy win over the Bengals instantly. So I'm just going to give this to the New York Giants because I know they will win this game. Next game... We have the Carolina Panthers versus the New England Patriots. Now, the Patriots are usually not good in the preseason, but they are great this year. I mean, the Panthers did lose their last game, which kind of hurt them. So I feel like it's going to happen again because they could not do it. I forgot who they played last week. Oh, yeah, I think it was the Bears, and they lost. Or not too sure. No, the Bears ended up, uh, hold on. Yeah, they lost their first two games. The Panthers didn't play them. That was the first week, I believe. So, I believe the New England Patriots will easily take the win over the Carolina Panthers And I feel like it will not be a pretty score at the end, so I will give it to the New England Patriots. Next game, we have the Baltimore Ravens versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, I feel like this will be a good game, but the Ravens are looking a lot better. They have won their first two preseason games this year. And I believe they will be undefeated at 3-0 and this week. You know, they tore the Jaguars up um, in the first week. It won't happen to the Eagles this week. But I believe the Ravens will still win. So, with this being said, since the Ravens look better, I will give it to them this week. Next game, we have the Washington Redskins versus the Atlanta Falcons. Hmm, can the Atlanta Falcons get their first win? I think so. I believe that the Atlanta Falcons will snap out of their losing streak so far after losing their three First three preseason games this year. I believe they can take the Redskins because they are playing at home. As you can see, they're like on the 
bottom, so I'm pretty sure it will be at the Falcons. So I think it will be a close game, but I believe the Atlanta Falcons will pull away with it. So I will give it to them for this game. Next game, we have the Green Bay Packers versus the Oakland Raiders. Now, I feel like this will be a good game to watch. But I feel like the Raiders have more talent and more um, perspective. And it will be in Oakland, I'm pretty sure. And I believe it's going to be kind of confusing at the same time. I feel like this game will be confusing. You know, our offense is really good. You know, we've got Mike Glennon, who's throwing the ball, passing the ball around. He's really good. We have Antonio Brown and who knows what kind of state. <laughs> But the Packers have good players, too. They've got great offense. They've got pretty good defense as well. So it's kind of tough to tell what the Packers will do. But the Raiders are also the same way. I feel like it will not be a blowout. But I feel like the Oakland Raiders will take this game. Probably by a score, maybe. Probably like the way they played against the Cardinals last week. But I'm not too sure, but I believe the Oakland Raiders will take this game this week. Next game, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Miami Dolphins. Now, the Jaguars are just sad to look at right now. They are in a saddened state. The Dolphins, however are doing better than I expected in the preseason. You know, they did lose last week, but it was pretty expected. But this game being in Miami, I mean, people from Jacksonville do not have to go very far, which makes sense because both teams are in Florida. So I believe that the Dolphins will barely take the game, but I believe the Jags will put up a lot of points. But the Dolphins will just skip ahead of them. So I will give it to the Miami Dolphins for this game. Next game, we have the Cleveland Browns versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I feel like this will be a good game, but the Browns have more perspective. I believe they will be the better team in this situation. The Buccaneers did get a win. Oh yeah, it was the Dolphins who played the Buccaneers. That was last game. The Buccaneers barely pulled off with a win. They barely lost to the Steelers last uh, the week before last week by two points and won against the Dolphins by two points. But I believe the Browns will take this game by a good bit, but it will be a more of a defensive game. I believe it will be more defensive, but who knows? I believe it will just be a good game, but kind of boring at the same time. So I'm just going to give it to the Cleveland Browns because they will be the better team in this situation. Next game, we have the Buffalo Bills versus the Detroit Lions. Yeah, Bills are looking red hot right now, if you can just look at them. They've won their first two preseason football games this year. I feel like it will be a blowout. I feel like this is going to be a pretty boring game. It's going to be bad. So I feel like the Buffalo Bills will blow away the Lions like they are chaff of the wind which will be kind of sad. So I believe the Buffalo Bills will take this game immediately. Next game, we have the Arizona Cardinals versus the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah. I mean, we, the Raiders, barely... We actually were beating the Cardinals pretty bad, but they almost came back on us. But we shut them down at the end, when they got the end touchdown 
to bring them closer. But I believe this will be this will not be a good game for them. I feel like the Vikings will kind of tear them down. I feel like it's going to be anywhere from a 15 to 22 point beating. I think the Vikings will be taking this game, so there's nothing much to it. So I will just give it to the Minnesota Vikings because they will be the better team in this situation. Next game, we have the Houston Texans versus the Dallas Cowboys. Slow down there, Chief. What is it? A bull? Big red and blue with a white star longhorn bull? Or is it a um, bandit on the run? Who do we have here? Hmm. Both Texas teams. Strange. So I believe this will be a fight. I think it will be so close, but I feel like the Houston Texans can actually take this game. I feel like even though they are going to be worse than the Cowboys this year, in according to my predictions, but I think they will take this game in Dallas, so they do not have very far to go. So, I think the Texans will barely take it, but it's going to be a good game to watch. Very exciting. Next game, we have the Chicago Bears versus the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, both of these teams are going to be really good in the regular season, but right now in the preseason, they both look trash. They look terrible. I mean, it hurts to say that, but it's the truth. So, I believe the Indianapolis Colts will barely take it, but it's going to be a pretty defensive game, in my opinion. But I believe the Colts will barely take this game. Next game, we have the New Orleans Saints versus the New York Jets. Now... This game will be interesting. I feel like it will be a good game, but I feel like the Saints will take it off at the end. I feel like at the end of the game, they will get a touchdown or maybe and maybe a field goal. I feel like they will blast off near the end. So, I believe it will be good, but I believe the New Orleans Saints will take this game. So, I will just give it to them this week. Next game, we have the San Francisco 49ers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. 49ers look really, really good right now in the preseason. They're actually not really scoring too many points, but their defense is on top notch. But their offense, I mean, it's good, but they've been playing some defensive teams lately, but they've been winning both games. Chiefs lost against the Steelers by 10 points, and it was actually their fault. I watched the game. It was not good. They kept having turnovers. They actually got fumble recoveries, or like um, when the Steelers fumbled the ball, they would pick it up. That kept happening, but it was just kind of boring to watch. So I feel like it's going to be kind of the same, but the Chiefs will not be beaten quite as bad, probably by a field goal to a touchdown worth. So with this game, I feel like the 49ers will take it this week, so I will just give it to them. Next game, we have the Denver Broncos versus the Los Angeles Rams. Will the Rams get their first win? Or will they not? I think they will. You know, it's going to be in Los Angeles, so I think they can take it. I feel like they will actually take this game at home and upset the Broncos. But I feel like it will be close. You know, both of these teams are not doing very well in the preseason. But because I know the Rams will be better, I will just give it to them this week. 
Next game, we have the Seattle Seahawks versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Yeah, Chargers do not look good at all right now in the uh, preseason. They lost their first two games. Seattle lost to the Vikings last week by not too badly, but I believe it will be pretty bad. I think the Seahawks will beat the Chargers pretty badly this week. So in Los Angeles, Seattle will take it from the north part of the west coast to the south part of the west coast. I think Seattle will take this game by a good bit. And our last NFL 2019-2020 preseason Week 3 game, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Tennessee Titans. This will be on Sunday night, by the way. I feel like this will be a really good game. I feel like there will be points on the board by a whole lot. But I think the Titans can take it. I feel like they will win by a field goal. I feel like it will be like... 30-something points each for both teams. So it will be a great game. So with this team, or with this game in front of my face, I believe the Titans will take it, barely. So I will just give it to them this week. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my NFL preseason week three game predictions. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what your favorite team is down in the comments below, and I will keep you updated. If you have any disagreements on my predictions, please let me know, and I will tell you about feedback about why I did that for whatever. And please explain why you disagree, and you can tell me your predictions of the games if you like. If you want, but it's optional, I'd like to know your predictions. And I will give you feedback about what I think about your predictions. So I will see you guys later. And bye.